Hello, my name is Ken, and I want to welcome you back to Deep Waters. This podcast is brought to you by Applied Strengths Ministry, where we believe working together in our strengths is the effect of working out the will and calling of God in our lives. The title of this message is CDC Dreams. This is a series message, episode two of five. Last message, we left off reading, or rather listening to the following. In Genesis 4.1, Eve states, she has received a child from the Lord, not Adam. Yep. She did not credit her husband for the child. His name was not on the list of credits. Another bit of info is that Cain was born first. And it is the fact that women who have got pregnant by one man and then another usually give birth in the same order of the pregnancy. Genesis 4:17. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. He did not say in Genesis 4-2 that Adam knew Eve and she bore Abel. Nope, it states that she bore again. This means more than once in the same event. One, no, not two. Look, Genesis 4-25. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and named him Seth. For God appointed another seed, for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. He did not say she bore again even though she already had kids. Also of interest is that Adam... When he named his walking rib Eve, he stated that she was the mother of all living. If they were the parents of all living, then it seems like he would have made that statement, Her name is Eve, and we are the parents of all living. But this is not what he said. Genesis 3.20 And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Okay, I hear you. You want more. In Luke 3.23.38 specifically verses 36-38. Cain is not mentioned in the generations of men. This is not a mistake. He had to belong to someone or something as we have his name written in the book. I'm not going to read this list of names because you know how I am with names. I don't want to hurt their feelings even if they are dead. But I'll go down to the bottom where Cain should be listed. In verse 38, it says, The son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Jude 14 states Enoch was seventh from Adam. Jude 1 14. Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men, also saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints. Genesis 5 1 5 proves this. Cain was not included in the genealogy of Adam because he was not born of the image and likeness of Adam. Also, note the very first sentence. Cain wasn't mentioned because he was not Adam's kidling. Genesis 5.1.5 This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female, and blessed them and called them mankind in the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, The days of Adam were 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Oops, I guess Moses left Cain out. Hmm, probably just a scribo. Nope, because it is consistent with the rest of what I have mentioned thus far. But still, we must go further. Listen to the language of Romans 9, 6, 9. Is it not hidden in plain sight? But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect. For they are not all Israel who are of Israel, nor are they all children, because they are all the seed of Abraham. But in Isaac your seed shall be called, that is, those who are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as a seed. For this is a word of promise. At this time I will come and Sarah shall have a son. Well, whose kids are they if they do not belong to God? There are no other gods, but I am. So they must belong to something that really exists. Of course they do. Now look at John 11, 51, 52, before we continue on. Now this he did not say on his own authority, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation. And not for that nation only, but also that he would gather together in one, the children of God, who were scattered abroad. Everyone? Doesn't the Bible say that God desires that everyone be saved? 2 Timothy 2.4, John 3.17, Acts 2.21. Back to it. It is believed that Adam, 
Knowing what had happened to Eve, and in all probability, Satan, after having had a meeting with a dramatic daytime talk show host, no doubt informed Adam of Eve's indiscretion. But regardless, Adam took Eve back, knowing what it would cost the human race. Now before you say any nothing, keep in mind that Adam and Eve were the furthest from sin, further than any one of us today. So it's hard to imagine the love Adam had for his wife. It is thought that he did this because he loved her deeply. We know that God disapproves of adultery as his servant Moses handed down the punishment for such a spiritual crime. And just because it wasn't written down doesn't mean he approved of disobedience to the law. A special note, they are the only ones who will have ever experienced what it was like to be perfect with God and then become sinners later on. The rest of us were born into sin. And I want to know where their belly buttons are. Anyways, Deuteronomy 22.22 if a man is found lying with a woman married to a husband, then both of them shall die, the man that lay with the woman and the woman. So you shall put away the evil from Israel. Deuteronomy 24, 4. Then her former husband who divorced her must not take her back to be his wife after she has been defiled. For that is an abomination before the Lord. And you shall not bring sin on the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. You see, in the natural... Cain did not like his brother Abel because Abel actually had a revelation of God, an understanding of God that Cain couldn't have. Since Abel was from God and Cain from Satan, it was not possible for Cain to even love God. A garden secret. Did you know that no one has actually eaten from the tree of life? A tree that was planted in the garden just for humanity, and not one human ate from it yet. Genesis 3, 22, 24, beginning Revelation 22, 14. Cain and the genetic, or rather beastly, connection to Satan and his Florida plan, which was continued in the garden after Adam had sinned, thus bringing the battle to earth. So you see, Genesis is very busy with activity. 1 Peter 1.23 It is a small enticement into that journey, whereby he states about us authentically born-again believers, having been born not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible. 1 Peter 1.23 Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God which lives and abides forever. And if Jesus tells us that we already have false prophets and false teachers, Matthew 24, 24, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. 1 Peter 2, 1. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord, who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. This is a bonus, kind of like the prize in a box of Cracker Jacks. Luke 6, 26. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. We know that false prophets and teachers are not of God's seed, not his kids. So if you are living your life in such a way that people who see it would not be inclined to decimate your character if given the chance, then you are in a state of woe. Seek to please God alone. Of course we are to try and live peaceably with all men, Romans 12:18, but not at the expense that you compromise your sweet relationship with God. John stated in 1 John 4, 3, And every spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Now this was stated over 2,000 years ago. I tell you, the seed was planted in the garden and has since released Satan's kids, false prophets and teachers, into the world from the beginning. 1 John 3, 8, 12. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin, because he has been born of God. You see in John 8, 40, 47, Jesus is being threatened by the Jews who are operating in a spirit of murder. And we know where they got this. Not that all Jews have a spirit of murder, but that because their father was a devil. And because they were from their daddy, the devil, they operated in the same spirit, which produces all kinds of evil. This is why they were trying to kill Jesus. Well, that's it for today. I encourage you to keep rowing. Remember, it's not what you find wrong or disagree with regarding these messages, but what you can take away from it. Together, we can do more to impact the kingdom than if we work alone. 
that split the script and kill, still and destroy the works of the enemy, and create space for the light of light to shine through into people's lives. Plant a seed and click on the like and subscribe button. Let's build this ministry together. Thanks and see you next time in deep waters.